Um, <clears throat> I guess it happened on the very first possession that we had where she drove it to the basket and she said she felt something but didn't really say anything and just continued to, to play on it. And it wasn't until um, <clears throat> late in the first half that, um, uh, you know, that we found out that there was something wrong. And then by halftime, when we were in the locker room, we knew um, that when she wasn't back in the locker room right away, that it had to be something. And then before the half started, before the second half started, um, uh, <clears throat> You know, Rosemary Rago, our athletic trainer, told me that she has a um, broken bone in her foot and she's out. And we just addressed it with our team real quick and play on. So it went up for that first layup and I felt a pop in my foot. I kind of thought it was a knuckle pop, but it just got worse as the game went on. But I went back out there, achieved for my teammates, and they got it done. Did you, like, do you ever self-diagnose? Could you tell right away the reality now? I've never broken a bone before, so I didn't really know specifically, but Rosemary checked it out, and then, um, I don't know, just found out. But, like I said, I just went back out there, cheered my team on, and I'm going to do whatever I can to support them. It's definitely tough, but um, I've been working so hard this season and it's kind of a bummer that it's got to end this way but I know my team's going to be out there and just play as hard as they can and I know they can do it so I'll be there supporting them. Obviously you don't want to see a teammate go down um, and it's extremely sad and we're, we're upset for her um, but we know that we had to come out and, and someone had to step up and each person had to step up in their own way. It wasn't going to be one individual, it was going to be everybody playing their roles just a little bit more added in there uh, and we knew that Lou was going to have our back no matter what. Uh, it, it motivates us because we want to play for her. We want to, um, you know, let her know that we're here for her. But uh, it sucks, you know, um, just because, just the emotional part of it, because we know how hard she's worked. And you just feel, I feel terrible for her. I know the whole team feels terrible for her. So it's not an easy thing emotionally for anyone. Yeah, well, Lou's a great player. Um, I'm sorry that she got hurt, but, you know, I th because she got hurt, I think we really have to pick up the slack now, like, for her going to be different and we're not happy about it at all but things happen like that throughout the season and you never know who's not going to get to play you know Stewie didn't get to play a game I didn't get to play a game Tucker didn't get to play a game so it's unfortunate that it happened but we're really going to rally for her and play this game for her. You know, Lou's a great player, and she gives a lot to us. Um, but I think, you know, now that, you know, she's not really going to be playing, you know, she's our motivation, and we want to do it to make sure that, you know, it's we don't suffer because of that, even because she's such a good shooter. She can get, you know, to the basket, you know, make a lot of tough shots. So we just have to make sure we pick it up for her. Yeah, I think that um, we, were, we were aware of what was going on, and, you know, especially as a freshman, being in the Final Four, this is the – you know, that's that's not what you want to happen. That's not ideal. You know, she wants to be in the game playing with us. And um, I think, you know, my thoughts coming off the bench was just being there to, to kind of comfort her. I mean, I don't know how much it's going to help, but um, kind of giving her the, the idea that, that we got this.